hello guys welcome back so in the previous video we have implemented the backend for sign up a user in php backend language now the next thing that we will do is basically to access our api which is api closed store okay to access our api from the flutter application uh, in order to allow a user a new user to sign up so for that purpose uh, we will go back to our flutter project our flutter application i mean open up the android studio and then uh, as i told you we have to make connection to our api which is api closed store for for allowing a new user to sign up as you know that we have till now we have implemented only the sign up backend so for that purpose let us just copy paste this and we can give it name as uh, host host connect user so what it means is that is inside our api we have a folder let me show it to you inside the our api folder which is api closed store we have a folder inside this api folder we have a folder by the name user which you can see here okay user so basically that's why we give it a separate name which is host connect user now in simple words as you know that this is basically our connection to the api okay and it is representing already by this host connect so instead of writing it we will just write here dollar that is our host connect host connect string okay which represent this string basically so we say host connect that is inside the api closed store folder we have a folder in there which is by the name user which you can see here and as we are implementing the registration that is sign up a new user so we have to also access our this file which is sign up.php which is inside the user folder so for that purpose let me write here a comment that is sign up user for now only so we can say static const and let's give it name as sign up and you know that this file sign up.php file is inside the user folder so for that purpose you can use this same reference that is inside the user folder slash we have a file by the name sign up.php so simple and so easy okay sign up dot php file which is this one which you can also confirm from here inside the user folder we have sign up dot php so as now we are connected to our api for uh, the sign up functionality to perform the sign up functionality for a new user that is whenever a new user want to sign up then the sign up feature will be performed using our api so now we have access to our backend to our backend with the help of our api so for example currently in the backend we have only performed the sign up functionality so now what we need to do is we need to simply add a click event on our sign up button that is we have to go to our authentication sign up screen dot dot file and access these okay in order to perform sign up sign up a user okay so sign up and on the on tab first of all we will check that is if the user has the user must provide the email and password that is do not leave any uh, text field empty let me just open up the phone so that you can see the ui okay I'm talking about the sign up page okay that is the user will provide name email password and click on the sign up button so when the user click on the sign up button then we must validate our this form that is if, if the user leave any field empty then we will tell uh, that is uh, we have already implemented that if any field is empty then uh, we will not proceed with the sign up okay so let's just quickly implement that that is to validate the form so we can say if 
फॉर्म की डॉट करंट स्टेट डॉट वैलिडेट मैक शो टू एड नल चेक विद द करंट स्टेट सो इफ द फॉर्म की इज वैलिडेटेड दैट इज इफ द यूजर the user have to provide that is the user must provide the name email and password so if all these things are provided by the user then we will proceed with the uh, registration now the important thing that we have to do here is basically to first validate the email that is either the user who is going to log in let's say john at the red gmail is uh, email address so let's say we will check in the database first either this email is already in use of some other user or not that is if this email is already in use of other person then we will simply tell to the user that this is not you cannot use this email this is someone else email already taken by someone okay that email you can say so we must perform that that is to validate the email the user email once the user email is validated that is it must be unique the user email must be unique it will not be in someone other user use okay in simple words let's say this is the email for example okay in simple words this email must belong to only one user and not to two or more than two user okay only one user can have this email let's say for example john at the red gmail dot com so only the user will have this email other user cannot log in uh, sign up with the same email okay let's say if there is another person whose name is john so maybe their email will be let's say john 22 at the red gmail dot com okay each and every user will have their own unique email and not duplicate emails you know that email is basically unique for each and every user just like a user id so that's why first we have to validate the email so we will call here a function uh, a method which we will implement now and that will be validate user email okay and then we will implement this method now above here the widget build we can say we get user email 